It does not take talent. You don't have to be talented. You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to be the quickest, the strongest. You don't have to be the most intelligent. That's what you gotta do. You just gotta grind though. You're grind. I believe that most human beings are only living at about 40% of their capability. We have a factory, a nice governor in our brain, and it's a survival mechanism. It protects us from pain and suffering. The second we feel that shit, our mind says, oh no, this isn't fun. You have to take advantage of an opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. Life made you this way. We can't live like this. We can't live in fear. We can't live in judgment. Oh, don't call yourself fat. Don't call yourself dumb. If you're not real and raw with who the fuck you are, nothing's gonna change. Cause real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just wanna score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. Get to the spot where your mind is saying stop. Wherever that is, you gotta get there first. And then that's when that shit starts to work for you. You gotta control yourself in that moment. I believe that the invisible force of internal drive activated is the most important thing in the world. The mind has a tactical advantage over you. Why is that? It knows what you're afraid of. It knows your insecurities. It knows your deep, dark lies. And it starts to push you away from that shit. It pushes you in a direction that is comfortable. And in this nice new world that we live in, we want to hear, you're just a little big. No, man, you might be fat. And it's okay to hear that from yourself and from everybody else. So that's where it started at. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Nothing. Nelson Mandela said, There is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. It's not what makes it hard is your lack of belief that it can happen for you. The fact of it is though, it's very doable. See, if but you gotta change though. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks, and I'm sure you've probably heard that before, but I want to talk to you about why that's so important. First, you will fail at some point in your life. Accept it. You will lose. You will embarrass yourself. You will suck at something. There's no doubt about it. I blame no one. On the other side of it, what an opportunity we have, because tomorrow's the first day of the rest of our lives. If, while it may be frightening, it will also be rewarding, because the chances you take, the people you meet, the people you love, the faith that you have, that's what's going to define you. But do you have the guts to fail? Here's my second point about failure. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. I'll say it again. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. It's very important. As you hold on to that dream, there are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. There are rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. So when you go out there, stop playing yourself. Don't disrespect this game. Don't dishonor this game. If you're going to go out there, don't go out there with just skill. Go out there with skill and go out there with will. Most people have done all that they're ever going to do. They raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. It's necessary to know that everybody won't see it, that everybody won't join you, 
that everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that, that a lot of people like to complain, but they don't want to do anything about their situation, that you are an uncommon breed. You know, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. You got skill and you got will. You got skill and you got will. Two total different things. You were born with certain things, but to get to the next level, and not just get to the next level, to stay at the next level, you gotta have will when you get to that next level. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? For many years I didn't. One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? The other thing is that most people, ladies and gentlemen, they get comfortable. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. And some of you are already there. Well, you don't know how you're going to make this happen, but you just feel within yourself some way, somehow, with the help of God, I'm going to make it happen. Listen, getting successful, whatever you consider successful, if it's rich, whatever, it's not a magic trick. It's not God picks certain people he'll make rich and certain people he don't. You have a say-so in that. And with God's help, it's highly doable. But you first have to think it. And here's what I will share with you. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. The difference between successful people and non-successful people is here. I'm no better than none of y'all. I'm not a better person than you. God don't love me more than you. None of that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me share something with you. I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. If you want to be successful, you have to change this. This has to change. It's two people born in a hospital every day. It's a person that's born in a hospital that's going to get a job. And somebody born in a hospital that's going to give them a job. You get to decide which one you're going to be. You get to decide if I'm going to be rich, poor, mediocre, plentiful, happy, sad. You, you have a decision to make. I'm in search for a feeling. I'm not in search for a trophy. I'm not in search for love. I'm not in search for more followers on Instagram or social media. When I started this journey years ago, and I realized that I'm going to be somebody, and I'm searching for a feeling, a feeling of true victory for myself and only myself. The second I shut out the whole world and realized that one thing, that I am in this world alone, I'm fighting this race by myself. I don't know how to do this, but I know that to get over there to that fucking side, I gotta grind myself into a fucking fine powder. And I did it.